Hey, what is good green gang? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be bringing you guys this video. First of all, I love styling clothes. Secondly, you guys seem to like these videos. Thirdly, the sponsor is freaking cool. So yes, this video is sponsored. I'm presenting this video in collaboration with Farfetch which has very quickly become one of my favorite kind of online places to look for not only high-end slash designer stuff but also like really cool curations of like the coolest more high street brands like sportswear and stuff like that i have fallen in love i'm pretty sure i bought my balenciagas from there farfetch gifted me some credit and i added a bit of money on top to get something that i have wanted for so long an amazing piece from them i feel like it's the perfect time you know we're coming into autumn life has been a little bit crazy this year i think for everybody me included so it's just like time for a fresh start a new beginning like treat yourself make yourself feel good you know and carry that energy with you throughout the rest of the year which is what I'm hoping to do, okay? But before I get into it as well, I just wanna let you guys know that I do have a discount code for you guys. It will be in the description box down below, right at the top, as well as on the screen right here. So definitely make sure you make good use of that if you guys are thinking of getting anything extra special for yourselves to, to have a little restart, a little refresh, you know? I feel like you should definitely make sure you use it because, I mean, I'm probably gonna use it. <laughs> So this Outfits of the Week is obviously a little bit more autumn based because obviously the weather is changing, the seasons are changing and I just thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about some of my kind of top full pieces. Maybe show you a few things on the website that I am loving at the moment. So in terms of top full investments, okay, so I honestly, when autumn comes back around, I always feel like I want like a nice bag. I just feel like accessories are so important when you're dressing for the colder months. You know those months where literally, okay, so say you have like three winter coats or autumn coats, but it gets too cold that you can't even really wear your coats open. It feels like you're constantly just wearing the same outfit because nobody sees what's underneath and I was just like accessories are key for these seasons the colder seasons because they really change up your outfit I love shoes and my other love is bags <laughs> so that is why I chose a bag I mean there's obviously a ton of key like investment trendy pieces but also the classics like a really good leather jacket an amazing bomber jacket a really good knit um, and then just like an amazing coat it could be any of those things but I definitely needed a bag to change things up because i feel like i've still got coats and stuff that i'm happy to wear like my staples and i just want to find a way to wear those still be able to wear those because i love them but change up the outfit therefore changing the bag <laughs> so i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about farfetch anyway and why i love them because some of you guys may not have heard of farfetch and to be honest i hadn't heard of farfetch until i'd kind of came across them randomly when I was looking for a pair of trainers and it just turns out that they stopped them so I was like okay cool like let me check it out and then I was like oh this is amazing and to be honest this collaboration is kind of baffling because I'm like why did why does Farfetch know who I am um <laughs> such a cool website so Farfetch are a website that stock like I said a lot of curated pieces from like cool brands that everybody loves and they've got some higher end stuff like some really really high end like designer stuff and they also have like pre-loved vintage like second hand stuff as well which I think is really cool especially if you're just getting into the market or if you are a vintage girl because sometimes Vintage is so much better than the new stuff and sometimes more affordable as well. I've got my eye on a few pieces actually, but I need to calm down. So I'm just gonna like reel it in and be happy with my little, my new addition to my collection. <laughs> so in this video, you're gonna see a few full trends that have kind of made a little light bulb go ding in my head and like get me excited for dressing for the colder months. I feel like there's a lot of cool trends that I'm really into. I've noticed that a lot of people are trying to transition like key pieces from their summer wardrobe into their autumn and winter wardrobes. That includes like really colorful pieces that you wouldn't typically wear through this time of the year, I suppose, or during this time of the year. But if you dress it in the right way, it can look really cool. Um, so I'm loving that kind of bright colors thing. I've noticed like a lot of silky satiny materials, which obviously I'm here for. Don't worry guys, this will be in the next outfits of the uh, of the week. I've also, what else have I noticed? Oh, okay, so I think it's called terry cloth. It's like a velvety towel kind of material, but I've already got two, two outfits in that, but there's only one in this video. Um, but I, like where has it been my whole life? Been loving terry cloth for this season. And yeah, just really loving like the nude muted tones as well. And that kind of, 
Okay, so I've noticed like a lot of like Princess Diana inspo outfit pictures. Um, kind of that 90s like sporty look I suppose, but it's a little bit preppy with the like dad trainers and then the little bag and the kind of varsity style jumper I suppose, like college style jumper. I have been loving that trend so much as well, just that really cool 90s trend that just seems to never die out. Probably my favourite thing. Um, and then I've been loving like vintage look uh, trainers and also big boots as always. So those are like the things that I'm just obsessed with right now. So yeah, those are the kind of pieces that I'm transitioning into my wardrobe. I'm still wearing bare legs. I refuse to wear any kind of tights or trousers unless I want to wear them until it's absolutely impossible, like impossibly cold to the point where I can't have my legs out anymore. So I'm still wearing shorts, I'm still wearing skirts until winter has come. <laughs> so yeah, aside from Farfetch having really cool vintage stuff, having all the best curations of like high street, sportswear, stuff like that, and obviously the nice high-end pieces, I honestly love their service. I started shopping on Farfetch before even knowing that they would ever, ever sponsor a video of mine, just to be clear with you guys. And from day one when I started buying on Farfetch, basically their returns policy is amazing. Um, if you're worried about sizing or, you know, something looking different in real life to how it looks online, um, but you don't really want to go into the store, maybe you feel uncomfortable going into the store, or, you know, this year has been kind of impossible to go to a store. But if you want to have a bit of time with the items that you're purchasing before deciding that you actually want to spend that much money on something, or deciding which one you want, because sometimes when something's really expensive and there's like different colours and different sizes, it's a bit overwhelming and, you know, it's really hard to make a decision, especially when you don't have them in front of you to try and you know, test with other things. That's why I love Farfetch because you can order whatever you want and you can return it, I think, within like 14 days. Their return service is super quick and easy. It comes with like a prepaid label, I'm pretty sure. And I've definitely made use of that in the past and it's been so, so helpful. So for that reason as well, I, Farfetch, Farfetch are just the MVP, you know. Another thing that sets Farfetch aside is their Positively Conscious edit. So the Positively Conscious edit only contains items and pieces that have been rated um, like ethical so if you are like a sustainable queen and you are more interested in buying brands that are putting forward like sustainable options then that will be the edit for you guys yeah i just think it's amazing that they do that because i feel like a lot of higher end sellers stockists etc they're not really interested in that um so i really love that about farfetch as well okay so i feel like i've been rambling for ages i'm going to show you the bag really quickly so this is the saint laurent yves saint laurent i will always call it yves saint laurent this is the ysl nikki bag i ordered a few different ones but i i kept the smaller one anyway i'll link it down below i love it so basically keeping in trend with like the lighter colors kind of you know keeping light colors into your transition into the colder months i decided to get the bag in white instead of in black i was just like let's try something different this is one of the newer bags and it's got gold hardware usually these have like kind of gunmetal or silver hardware so when i saw the gold i was like i i need it i need this is i need this bag i just think it's absolutely beautiful i kind of love that it almost looks vintage already even though it is brand new it's just got like a very particular style to it and yeah it just makes a change from the usual bags i have i love it and it look it just completes the outfit i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with gold i'm obsessed with this this is almost a clue it's not actually white it's like an off-white color it's like an, almost a beigey cream but it is just beautiful it has all of the pockets and it literally surprisingly fits so much in there let me know if you'd like me to do like a what's in my bag i am still in shock that i'm even touching this i love it and i think it's going to be a forever bag well it's definitely going to be a forever bag how could i ever get rid of this it's so so beautiful i have not stopped wearing it honestly i need to give it a rest i just want to remind you guys of the discount code before you get into this and forget it is in the description box down below and also right here um so definitely be sure to make use of that if you have had your eye on something but you haven't quite wanted to spend that much money now's your opportunity guys it's a sign it's a sign guys so anyway without further ado because i've been talking for so long now i am going to roll a clip of my outfits for the week thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoy good morning green gang and happy monday i have decided i'm going to start this monday off with a bang it's been quite a slow weekend and the weather is not i mean it's warm but it's like humid because it's like wet so i just wanted to make myself feel a bit better okay don't mind that weather i like to get dressed up and do my makeup and stuff just to make myself feel 
ready for the day. And um, I feel like what I wear is like an extension of my personality and I have like many alter egos. <laughs> so um, this is one of them. This is the bad girl boss kind of vibes because that is the kind of impression that I wanna give off today. Um, and also I'm just excited about my new boots. <laughs> Okay, so we know that I love big stompy, like conventionally ugly boots and I feel like these are my dream. I have wanted thigh high boots for so long, but I didn't want heeled ones because I'm tall enough, can't walk in heels and I just don't think they suit me as much. I love like stompy big boots. So these just came in from ASOS and of course, had to put them on first, first, first thing this week. <laughs> and um, they're just making me feel like a superhero, I love it. These little shorts from Zara, I've got them in loads of different colors. They're so comfortable. They kind of look like boxer shorts, like they're ribbed and just beautiful. Again, so comfortable. Um, and then this crop top is also from Zara. It's like a spaghetti scrap, sp sp spaghetti scrap? Spaghetti strap top with like a wiggly, I don't know what that's called, wiggly hem. Um, and I've just tucked it under just to show a bit of skin because I feel like if it was pulled down and this was all black, um, it would be too much. I just needed to break up the color block a little bit. Um, my blazer is also from ASOS from a brand called Collusion. I love this blazer, it's amazing. Um, I think it's only in like a size, I think this is a size eight or a size 10, very oversized, just perfect. And just about long enough for me. And of course, so I had to add like a little pop of color, a little bit of lightness, a little bit of gold. I've got my YSL bag. Um, and I just feel like that just totally completes the vibe. So this is the full outfit. Ah, I feel so cute. <laughs> and yeah, I just feel so cool. I feel confident. And yeah, I don't really know if this gives off business vibes, but it gives me boss vibes. And that's all that matters, guys. <laughs> so yeah. This is the outfit. I hope you like this one. Hope it's not a bit too much for a Monday morning. <laughs> also, these boots are incredible because I've got skinny legs, so anything thigh high or knee high usually just like crinkles up a lot and like falls down, but these are secure. I've secured the boot, guys. I've secured the boot. <laughs> okay, let's roll into Tuesday. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Another day closer to the weekend. So today I'm sporting this little set from And Other Stories. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like, oh, I can never remember the name of this material. It's not toweling. Is it terry cloth? I think it's terry cloth. But yeah, I feel like this material is trending quite a lot recently. I've got another set that I'm probably gonna wear in this video um, later on in the week because I'm just obsessed. I feel like it just looks so chic, but vintage. Hence why I've got my Reebok vintage, I think they're called Club C Classic, 85, something like that. Um, Cause I'm just living, lo lo loving, just loving that kind of vintage, um, but put together look. That's why I've slicked my hair back. I've missed wearing my slick buns, you guys. But I feel like I can only do it once the pink has started to grow out, so. We are back on the slick buns, especially with the rainy weather this week. The curls are just gonna be too much and I just don't wanna straighten my hair, so <laughs> we're going with the bun. So I'm just kind of in love with the neutral tones of this outfit, that relaxed but still put together vibe. This is the whole outfit with the trainers. I think it looks so cute. And yeah, there's not really much to show you on this one because it's a very simple outfit. I'm loving the nude tones at the moment as well. I feel like they're the perfect transition for like a new season, a new beginning. And I feel like this color is literally so flattering on everyone. So yeah, going with like the nude vibes we love. That is my complete outfit today. Um, I'm probably going to run a few errands and yeah, mostly just work other than that. So I wanted to be comfortable because I feel like yesterday's outfit got me in the mood to like get stuff done. And now I'm like, okay, we can tone it down. We can still look cute. We can still go do stuff, be a little bit more comfortable. Although yesterday's outfit was really comfortable also, but yes, this is today's outfit. I hope you guys like it. And yeah, I just feel like the bag obviously just finishes the look off beautifully. Keeping in line with like the new tones and the golds, Mwah, beautiful. <laughs> Happy hump day, green gang. I thought I'd wear some color today because it's still gloomy and, you know, Wednesday vibes midweek. We just wanna bring the mood up. So I thought I'd add a little pop of pink into my outfit today. This jumper is from Aurel the Label. I love it. It's literally the perfect pink. And then I've got these trousers from Santa Cruz. I got them on ASOS and um, yeah, they're just super cool kind of laid back work like work pants, skate pants, I suppose. Um, 
because I just wanted to tone the outfit down a little bit, make it a bit more casual. Seeing as I'm mostly working from home today, if I was to wear shoes, it would be my Air Force. And I've got these little socks peeking out from, I got these from, oh, look at my steamer in the background. That's annoying. Okay, the steam is gone. So my socks are from Monkey, I think. And they are so cute. And they just kind of tie in the look all together. So this is the full outfit, super comfy and casual, very laid back. I do want to say I did try and iron my trousers, but I just couldn't get them any less creased than this, so I apologize. But yeah, I feel like this is such a cute look. It's kind of like, not preppy, I don't know, but I just feel like it's a very clean, simple, um, nice look that again, looks super put together. I was gonna um, do my hair, but again, like I said, the weather has just kind of rendered that pointless. So we're gonna do a bun all week, guys, <laughs> until further notice. So yeah. Oh, and also I forgot to show. I um I had like this satin robe, like dressing gown, and because everything's a bit too big for me at the moment, I've lost a bit of weight. I've been using things like this or like shoelaces or whatever to tie things up in the back, and I think it just looks super cute. And again, the pink just ties everything in together so beautifully. I really like this outfit. Like it's so casual, but it just looks so like chic in my opinion. Let me know what you think. And of course it ties in with the pink in my hair, although it's more blonde than pink now. I need to redo that. But bun life is staying until further notice, as I said. <laughs> so that is it for Wednesday. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm feeling a little bit more dressy today. We're getting towards the end of the week and uh, I'm excited for the weekend. Probably just gonna chill, let's be honest. Grandma Tash over here. Um, but today I'm going to go shopping with my mum. We're going to Westfield. She got engaged recently at the beginning of the year, around the time I went to Verona. I don't know if you guys remember or saw that vlog. Um, so she's asked me to do her makeup or I've offered, I'm so excited. So basically we need to figure out some good foundations that work for her skin and ones that she likes to look off. So we're gonna do a bit of shopping. I've suggested a NARS foundation because I wear it every day and it's just mwah, incredible. It's raining today. Not sure why I chose to wear all white, but I was just feeling the vibes. I'm not ready to let go of like the bright colors yet. And to compensate, I'm wearing my new Chloe Wellies. I just, <laughs> um, so my outfit. The top is from Zara. This skirt, every time I wear it, I get compliments. This is from ASOS. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I know there are some other brands that have similar ones, so I'll link them if I can. My shirt is by Collusion, ASOS. Again, Collusion is just one of those staple brands for like really cool, trendy, just sick pieces. Um, and then my nude YSL with the gold chains, which just complements the boots absolutely perfectly. I feel like they're basically exactly the same color. Um, so it just ties the look in all together. I'm kind of loving this. I feel like so fresh and so clean, clean. I feel like I'd actually wear this on a night out as well. So uh, maybe Saturday, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I just think this outfit is beautiful. Um, it's quite dressy for me, but I'm into it. And the boots are heeled, but they're not really heels. You guys know how I am about boots. But this is the perfect welly for me. So this is the whole outfit. I hope you guys like it. I love it. And yeah, it is raining, but it's still really warm. So it's very humid. That's why I put this on. The shirt is like super nice and flowy and lightweight. And if I want to take it off, it's not like a pain to carry. And I can probably shove it in this bag. This bag is incredible. It fits so much more than you would expect. I initially wanted to get the bigger one, but this is perfect. That's that, and I can take my shirt off when I get into Westfield, walk around, do some makeup shopping, get all hot and flustered, go outside, probably still be hot and flustered, but if I'm not, I'll throw my shirt back on. <laughs> okay, so I have no idea what I'm gonna wear tomorrow, but I will see you guys then. <laughs> happy Friday, green gang. It is the end of the week, and I'm so happy for it because it means I get to wear tracksuits for the weekend. <laughs> um, so this is today's outfit. It's a little bit colder today. So I've got a jumper on, a nice little heavy duty jumper from Daily Paper, black owned brand. And I have to say, so this is the first time I've ever um, come across their stuff before. And the quality of their items are just insane. I will probably do a haul, so stay tuned for that. But I love the kind of varsity preppy 90s going for a, I don't know, dog walk, dropping the kids off to school vibe kind of thing. I love it, it's such a banging color as well. I just love it. Um, I'm wearing these gray cycle shorts. I can't remember where I got these from, probably like ASOS or something. Um, just because I refuse to put my legs away until it's absolutely necessary. 
Um, and of course, they're just super comfortable. And I wanted to go for chill vibes today. I'm again working from home as usual. I might go uh, for dinner with a friend tonight. So this would be like a nice kind of comfy halfway that I'll still be warm enough in if I just pop a top on underneath. So I've just tucked the side of the jumper in a little bit, partially because there's a makeup stain on it. And we just won't talk about that. Um, but also just because I want the leggings to peek out a little bit to complement the bag. <laughs> and then I've got another pair of Reebok Vintage Classic Club. I don't know, I think that's what they're called. These ones are a little bit different. They have that classic like Reebok logo on them. They're cream again, which I love and just that pop of blue again ties in perfectly with the jumper and then the cream with the bag so I love this kind of vibe this is like my favorite kind of clothes to wear it's just so comfortable and I feel really I don't know I feel really cool I feel like the bag kind of fits in with the preppy style because it looks a bit like a like a book bag like a miniature book bag like I'm going to uni guys I'm just gonna go revise in the library <laughs> so yeah this is the whole outfit I've worn this a few times, I'm not gonna lie. I'm an outfit repeater, it's just so comfortable. And the jumper, the weight of it, everything is just beautiful. I cannot get enough of this bag, you guys. I'm in love. Oh, there's so many outfits I wanna show you guys, but maybe I'll leave it here, I'll save it for next week. I think I will do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little outfits of the week. I cannot wait to do more of these videos for you. I will, I think I'll try and change the format a little bit, or maybe I'll keep doing these and do like a one item, three ways kind of style video. Let me know what you guys think. I just wanna say a massive thank you again to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. I still cannot believe that this is a thing and that this is a thing. What? If you didn't know about Farfetch, now you know. Honestly, it's such an amazing, website for new and vintage pieces so you should definitely check it out i have been yeah i've shopped on there quite a bit and yeah the service is just amazing so so happy thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys i hope you have a good week weekend i hope you're having a great day and i will catch you guys all in the next one and welcome to my new flat by the way this is one of the bedrooms um it's very empty at the moment probably quite echoey but we're, we're gonna get there with decorating okay <laughs> all right guys i will see you guys in the next video Green Gang for life. Love you. Bye.